Now we're going to talk about the new 2010 Q-Series. This year, as last, we have three models in the Q-Series. Our top end, Q720, the middle bike, the Q620, and our entry-level model, the Q520. This year, we were actually able to reduce the cost on the entry-level model. Even with the additional attention to detail and the new frame design, we're able to offer the Q520 now at a sub-$500 price point. Again, this year, for the same price point, the Q620 features hydraulic disc brakes, a new fork from Suntour, which is very close in performance to the RockShox Tora, but obviously at a far cheaper price point. In addition to the radically manipulated top tube, this year we even went so far as to hydroform the seat stays. This allows us to remove the brake bridge on the upper models and also remove a lot of excess weight. For 2010, the goals that we had for the Q-Series were to improve paint and graphics, improve the look of the frame, and reduce the price points. The most obvious feature of the new Q-Series is the brand new frame. A radically manipulated top tube and down tube and even hydroform seat states allow us to produce a very unique frame which we feel is unsurpassed in the market. Another feature of the radically manipulated frame is the ability to place paint and graphics in ways that had not been done before. For 2010, the paint and graphics are far bolder than they ever have been before. The new graphics help dramatically bring out the new features on the frame tubes. Additionally, attention to detail such as painted stems, seat posts, new saddle designs, and even features like painted spokes have never been done before by Felt. We feel this year the Q-Series for Felt is one of the best mountain bikes on the market for the money.